Okay, with this project, if you can think it, you can probably do it, so let's get started. You can put this on a patio, a porch, a deck, even a balcony. Anything's possible. First, we're going to measure our space and cut our lumber, which is 2 by 6 treated lumber. Cut it all the size, and then you get started on the build. Okay, we're here at my friend Roy's. We're setting up a, a fabric bucket system. Actually, it's just going to be hand watered, just right here on his porch. He gets about six to eight hours of good light. To need a minimum of six hours. And uh, this project should take maybe 30 minutes. So here we go. We're just doing these 14 inches wide in the center. So we've got 17 inch boards in the outside, screwing them together for the outside. And then we'll put the liner in and the perlite in the bags. Put great plants in it. And then you have to pick in about two weeks. Okay, maybe not two weeks. Okay, now we've got our boxes built. We don't have to put a bottom on it because we're just on the deck, so we're good to go. We're going to start cutting this liner. It's 20 mil pond liner. And you can't hardly put a hole in this. This will last as long as you probably are here. So, you get it? Okay, we're just using staples to keep it in place. Don't put them too low. You don't want any leaks. Duh. Now that we have the liner cut, we're putting it in. And it's just enough to hold the water and let the pot strain. Okay, then we're going to just cut off the excess length. Just trim it out, staple the ends, and we'll be ready to go. Ah, oh, that looks B-E-A beautiful. Yeah, we all know where that came from. Anyway, so then we set the frames where we want them. We put the fabric pots in before we put perlite so we get them spaced correctly. These are three gallon and five gallon. Those are probably the most common. You can do anything, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, squash, beans, everything in that size. So that's why we use that one. Now we're ready to fill up with perlite. That's the next step. Okay, we're going to start filling now with perlite. Make sure the wind is going in the right direction. You really don't want to breathe this stuff. It's not good for you. Besides that the powdery white look is not real hot either. Anyway, so we wash them down. We soak them really well. And then we come back and we set them in the troughs. Exactly how you want them. Now one of the great things about this system is you can move the pots anywhere you want, wherever they fit the best, even after you have plants in them. It's just so versatile. Very simple. Keep them damp, and they'll grow. Okay, so we've got all the fabric pots done, perlite in, rinsed out. So the next step is to plant them and mix the master blend nutrients and again we want to make sure that you mix the master blend and the magnesium sulfate you can do that together but then put that into your solution and then then mix the uh, calcium nitrate in separate and then put it in the solution so if you're going to do it like this you can do them in probably five gallon buckets take the five gallon bucket and what i found the easiest way to do it is a watering can so you can just water from the top and as that soaks down, it'll soak all the perlite, and then you'll see in the bottom of these troughs, it'll get wet. And having a little water in there is great. This way you won't over or under water them, because if there's a little bit of water in here, you're good, because it'll wick up. And um, when it's dry, you know, water again. If you're going away for a week, put that much more water in your troughs. You should be all right. And it depends on weather and, you know, things like that. But, you know, all in all, that's the way to do it. Every time you water, use a solution. Again, you know, it's real simple with the master blend, and man, they glow like crazy. So, so that's it. it. Half hour job, plenty of grow. You're going to have a ton out here, just right. right here on the porch. We're excited. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's going to be good. 
Don't forget to watch for the next ones on these favorite pots. There's other ways to do this as well. The video quality isn't that good, but uh, it'll work. It was sent from his iPhone to mine, and we transferred it here. So, But at least you get the idea of the growth. It's crazy. He's so thrilled. He just had to take this quick video and send it to me. Now, again, this can be done on just about anywhere porch a patio balcony um, there's actually people growing on their balconies with this system and uh, you just have to keep things picked and trimmed and you're good to go it's one of the simplest most versatile ways to grow with these fabric pots uh, the roots never ball up because they air trim we'll explain more on that uh, another time and um, you can't hardly over or underwater them